Hi there. Now for part A here, what we've got to do is show that the x coordinate of Q here lies between 2.1 and 2.2 for this curve. Okay. So in order to do this, what I'm expecting to do is see that there's a change in sign. For when I put the value of x equals 2.1 in, I would expect to get a negative value. And when I put x is 2.2 in, I would expect y to come out as a positive value. And then I can say because there's been a change in sign and the curve is continuous over this interval, that there must be a root. So it's just a question then, as I say, of just saying that when x equals 2.1. You've got to be a bit careful here though because one of the common mistakes that I often see made is that we're dealing with trig functions and when you're doing this make sure you set your calculator up in radians mode. So when you put 2.1 through here what you should find you get is a negative value as we're expecting minus 0 0.2240 and so on. And then if you put x equals 2.2 in, you should find you get a positive value for y, and it comes out as 0 0.5464 and so on. So all we need to do now is just take these results and just say that therefore the x-coordinate q lies between 2.1 and 2.2 since there's a change of sign and the curve is continuous, okay? There's no breaks in the curve across that interval. And that should be sufficient.